Lisa. Every client, I try to know their name. Everyone who walks in the business, I want to be their friend. I want them to feel like this is their home because I feel like it's my home. It's been two years since Whitney Herman officially became a small business owner. Shift Cycle is a boutique indoor cycling studio, so we offer 45-minute indoor cycling classes. As a new mom, she couldn't find a place where she could work out and bring her newborn daughter along. Pretty much everywhere that I wanted to go, none of them offered childcare. This is our pace right here. So she decided to create a place of her own. Right left, right left. Turns out many of us see ourselves as entrepreneurs as well. The UPS store talked with people as a part of their inside small business survey and found 66% of them dream of opening a small business. But fears may be holding many back, something Whitney understands. Terrifying. Oh my gosh, it's still scary. 45% of people are concerned about financial security and 39% concerned about the financial commitment required to open the business. I think the, the funding and financing for most people is the hardest part about starting a business. Four, three, two, push and tap. Whitney struggled to get a loan because many lenders require two years of business experience. I mean, there were times where we were like, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. You know, we would get so close and then we had a bank be like, oh, sorry, we, we can't do it. She was able to get funding through a nonprofit, but still struggled with a fear 37% of people in the study share fear of failure. I have no MBA, I have no degree in anything business related, I've never even really managed people, I don't really know anything about finance, so I was kind of going into completely blind. Luckily her husband knew more about those things and what she lacked in those areas she made up in passion and a desire to learn along the way. Are you guys ready? If you have a dream of starting a small business, Whitney says you can do the same thing. You just have to believe in your product and you have to believe in yourself that you're strong enough and and motivated enough to just kind of fight and, you know, claw <laughs> to get where you want to go because no one's going to do it but you. I'm Kumasi Yaron reporting.